There are a lot of reasons why landowners would like to conduct a prescribed burn in the property. In my neck of the woods, uh, the first objectives would be to uh, promote forage production, to improve the palatability, the digestibility and the protein content of our grasses. But um, it also is going to uh, increase the diversity of the plant species in the property. Therefore, to promote wildlife habitat, but we're also gonna uh, help suppress uh, brush, we're gonna suppress uh, prickly pear, we're going to control parasites, and, uh, and uh, a very important reason is to um, reduce significantly the chances of having a wildfire in, in, in that property. Our goal for this burn was to try to use this as another aspect of wildlife management and to try to uh, reintroduce or, or support uh, native grasses uh, and help bring some of the native grasses back here. Uh, that's the primary goal that we had. Yeah, NRCS has done a great job and we have been very grateful. Uh, the uh, local NRCS agent here, Ben Garcia, has been fabulous. He, uh, he uh, has come out several times. He's helped us organize uh, the, uh, the burn. He's helped uh, us develop our burn plan. He's helped identify the areas that would be most productive for the burn and frankly managed our expectations as to what was realistic that we could accomplish, that is to say bringing back some of the native grasses, uh, and what wasn't going to be realistic, that is to say don't think you're going to get rid of all your mesquite because you're doing a burn. It's a fairly inexpensive practice and it's what our prairies really evolved under. It's, they evolved under a regime of uh, periodic heavy grazing, rest, drought, and also fire. Not necessarily prescribed fire, but fire nonetheless. I, I would say I was confident, but always cautious. Uh, it's one of those things, uh, the biggest learning I've had from today is the fire doesn't burn quite uh, as hot or as fast as you might think. Uh, and obviously that depends on the time of year and the exact conditions, but in this particular instance where it's spring, there's a lot of green grass, uh, and we've had a few inches of rain just earlier this week, our problem was not that everything caught on fire, it's that we couldn't get parts of it to burn. So uh, uh, I certainly was cautious at the beginning, and we learned a lot about it. I found it to be, uh, so far, great. You know, I mean, the, the, the real proof is gonna be to come back in six months and see what it looks like then. Uh, but it was uh, well organized, uh, well planned, under control, uh, and my wife, we pleased to note, did not in fact burn down any of the trees, which she was a little concerned about.